Reddit, what made that ex of yours so horrible? Well her threesome I wasn't invited to was kind of a low blow. Well it wouldn't be a threesome if you were there as well. The 40 year old man that was on my doorstep screaming, ranting, foaming at the mouth wanting to fight me for stealing his man. His man was my straight husband. Met in spring semester in college, spent 3 months being inseparable, went home for the summer, we didn't live that far apart, and all of a sudden I'm the clingy butthole for wanting to spend time together. Cue an entire summer of his being too busy every weekend. Just when I'd write him off, he'd come back around and sweet talk me, lather, rinse, repeat. Finally, before school started back up, we went camping. He confessed that although he'd spent every weekend all summer trying to hook up with cooler, prettier girls, he just couldn't find one he liked as much as me, and it made him realize that what we had was really special. I think he was actually surprised when it didn't work out, pretty much right after he finished his speech. The guy I lived with mums died of cancer, I was supporting him, he wasn't working, he slept with our next door neighbor in our bed, while I was at work. To top it all off, I only found this out after he dumped me for being too emotionally unavailable. Oh and he gave me chlamydia, so yeah. Ooh off, that guy was thorough. He boot kicked his mom's cat. In one of his rages, he pee in my purse. That's right, he pee in my purse. He was my best friend first. My life with him as friends gave me some of the fondest memories I will ever have to bitterly look back on. He used every flaw or mistake I had made before we dated against me to bring me down. I was the love of his life, but when he drank I was scum of the earth. He would fight and yell at me in front of his friends, manipulate me, and questioned everything I did and everyone I talked to. He made me believe I deserved his emotional and verbal abuse. He carried his emotional baggage as evidence that nothing going on in my life could ever compare to what he went through. I was never good enough, and I would never be good enough for anyone else. When someone tells you they can't live without you, or that you are the only person who makes them happy when life deals them a series of crippling blows, it's incredibly easy to overlook all the emotional and mental damage this person who loves you is causing. I still miss my friend, not the BF he became. She texted during movies. That evil wedge. Ex-wife, she physically abused my kid. Ex-GF, she physically abused some other guy's dong with her tea. I'm sorry about your misfortune, but I laughed at the way you decided to convey the message your ex GF cheated on you. My ex and I went out with a fellow co-worker and got pretty drunk so I let the co-worker sleep on the couch while my BF and I slept in my bed. He proceeded to sneak out of the room to make out with the co-worker on the couch. I woke up and caught them. Needless to say I was more than a little pee. I dumped him but since we all worked together I had to see him and the chick he made out with 5 days a week. Oh man that sucks balls. People are bastards. He dictated my life. He told me what to wear. Skirts and tops with a low cut or tight fitting were not allowed. He forbade me to talk to my male friends. He was obnoxious, big headed and used his slightly above average income that his family has to boss his friends around. I regret losing my virginity to him every day. Tomorrow can be a better day. Don't lose your virginity to him tomorrow. Accused me of cheating when she was the one cheating behind my back. A thief thinks everyone steals. 1. Took our $700 from stock split and instead of reinvesting it, gave it to his crappy brother for a car we knew he would wreck and never pay us back for. 2. Slept with my best friend while I was working full time and going to school full time. 3. Felt up my 13 year old daughter. Frick relationships. I'm gonna turn my Raspberry Pi into a robot. Please. Please tell me that you reported him assaulting your daughter. Besides her being unemployed and expecting me to pay for everything, her bitchy attitude, her chronic lying, her desire for me to stop talking to any and all female friends and her always trying to get physically violent with me, after the breakup, the fricking was good. The fricking is always good in these situations. We started dating when her fiancé left her and her kid to go join the army. We dated for about 6 months, and got serious enough to the point we wanted to move in together. Her idea and I would help her raise her daughter. The last night we were together was her birthday party. 
she got too drunk and threw up, so I put her in the shower at her parents house where she was living. I thought nothing of it, seeing as how we'd been sleeping together. Her parents come in because she won't stop making noise, crying from being sick, etc. They said they'll handle it from there, so I go home and go to sleep. Next morning, I wake up to a MySpace message saying she feels violated and to never contact her or her family ever again. Turns out she was still with the father of the kid, and was in fact marrying him the next week when he returned from wherever he was training. To top it off, she tells her friends, some of them mutual, we'd known each other since kindergarten, and family that I'd violated her. I'm assuming to cover why I was comfortable taking her clothes off for a shower, which she also requested, drunk though she was. She would always get mad at me if I did something wrong to her and she would never explain what wrong have I done to her. I only had one really horrible ex, back in high school. Let's see. She. 1. Cried for 2 hours because I wouldn't propose to her. We were 17. 2. Badgered me into stopping giving my best female friend rides to school. 3. Got mad at me when I was at her house. Ran out of her room. Ran out of the house and into the woods leaving me alone in her house with her family. The reason, I beat her at Monopoly. 4. When I finally broke up with her, she punched me in the back of the head twice as I left, then flicked me off as I pulled away in my car. Once I got home, I had like 4 messages from her saying she loved me. 5. Legitimately loved Nickelback. 6. Pretended she was pregnant after I broke up with her. A week of me completely freaking the frick out, until she confessed and then said I deserved it. I joined the navy and spent about 6 months away from my ex-husband. That apparently was enough time for him to acquire a new fiance, which he surprised me with on our anniversary. He also ended up stealing a lot of my stuff and drained our bank account before he took off for Russia while I was at work one day. Fortunately I had an amazing friend who bailed me out financially and helped me through everything. He is now my current husband and I couldn't be happier. This happy ending is comforting. There was nothing genuine about her. Every story seemed like a fabrication. And it turned out, was, and she constantly one-upped everyone. She drank non-stop. Did a pee poor job of trying to hide it. She did too many prescription drugs. She drank to excess in front of her son on her weekends with him. She pretended to be charitable, but then would go to other places and milk them for free crap. She would go out and be social with my friends and I for a very brief period and then make us leave just as the party was getting started. Or worse, she'd go and walk off by herself without telling anyone. She gaslit me into thinking I was crazy, made me doubt myself completely, and never let me talk to anyone. She read all of my texts all of my emails, and would call me constantly and keep tabs on me, no matter what or where I was. But the final straw was making up a story about being in a hostage situation that never actually happened. Frick, am I ever glad to be out of that mess. <laughs> Fell on her previous boyfriend's dong three times while we were together and raked me across the coals for telling a friend I had made a mistake dating her. Also hit me a bunch of times and threw crap at me in our apartment. The fricking was great but not worth having my self esteem and psyche destroyed. Dude, it's just gravity, and people accidentally fall. You might have dumped a really good woman. He insisted that I hang up these printouts of protective sigils he had downloaded off the internet, because he was an angelic warrior fighting demonic presence and I was weak and susceptible to its evil influence. Whoever downvoted this is a monster. I had a miscarriage and it went downhill from there constant fighting over me giving him money and other things. He told me that I was a bee incapable of carrying a baby. That was two weeks after the miscarriage. Accused me of cheating on him with a guy friend. This friend lived in NC and I live in NJ. He snatched my glasses off my face and threatened to break them if I didn't fess up. I still denied it and he broke them in half and threw them on the ground. Slapped me in public. Cheated on me. Finally when I decided that enough was enough. I told him that we couldn't go on dating anymore. He spat on me and said frick me and my cripple butt mother. My mother uses a walker and she has problems with her walking. Thankfully this was 5 years ago and I'm doing much better. I'm in a happy and healthy relationship with my current so. With as little context as possible, my friend threw a pizza box at her. She logically tried to have me arrested for it. 
beat me terribly. Things like punching me in the stomach after freaking to make sure I didn't get pregnant alienated me from my friends. Cheated on me. Dumped and then told me he would be back for me later. I still get nightmares about him coming back and hurting me again. $70,000 in hidden credit card debt. Glad my so knows about my ridiculous amount of student loan debt and likes me anyway. I dated an aspiring stand-up comedian who would test out his new jokes on me thinking he was being sneaky. They were very rarely funny. I used to laugh so he wouldn't feel bad. But then he started actually using them and some of his shows bombed. I had to start just telling him that wasn't funny. It was so awkward. Didn't mention that his feelings for me were fading and his feelings for another woman were growing. Then he broke up with me for something crappy he did to me and made it seem like my fault. Absolutely nothing. Colon C. Violent controlling a chat with major body dysmorphic disorder that he reflected on others including me. Requested I gain weight because I was too thin then tried to force me to go to the gym with him to work it off. The frick is that. Sounds like Dennis Reynolds. Nothing really wrong with her. Her family on the other hand. If we weren't in work we were visiting either her parents or one of her 9 uncles. I mean Jesus you'd think a daughter would pop up in a family that big but nope. We rarely slept in my own bed in a house we were working every hour we could get to pay for. She worked evenings while going to university which more or less paid for food and her car. While I worked days so I rarely got to see her during the week. But to top it all off some of her family decide to accuse me of being with her for her money. My own family made similar accusations about her and ultimately it became too much for the relationship to take. That's not even touching the weird two brothers marry two sisters get divorced then marry the other sister thing. He broke up with me because we were making out in his car. He got excited and took his pants off. And I freaked out. Not only had this exchange been my first kiss, but the last time a guy took his pants off around me I was almost debauched. So, I naturally panicked and stopped the Makia session. Everything was fine and he didn't make a big deal about it until a few days later when he broke up with me because I was a W who seduced him into taking off his pants and that we had to break up because God wouldn't forgive us if we were still in a relationship. Word got around at the church that we both attended that he was calling me a S who hated God. But luckily everyone knew he was full of crap and defended me. Now he still tries to flirt with me periodically. Ugh. Man. Frick hating horn dog Christians are just the worst. My girlfriend's brother convinced her family and everyone in their church that he only got his girlfriend pregnant because she was a witch who cast a spell on him. And he never really meant to frick her. Of course they all rallied around him and ostracized the witch. Married the total nice girl next door type. We moved away from her hometown for the first time and she wouldn't leave the house after the birth of our daughter. She went to visit her parents for 2 weeks once our daughter was 6 months old, then stayed an extra 2 weeks. When she came home she didn't have our daughter. She told me she just wasn't happy and didn't want to try and work it out. When I said I was quitting my high paying job to return to where her parents were she said not to do it, because she wasn't interested in seeing me and legally in our state I didn't really have any parently rights until my daughter was older. Very cold and matter of fact about the whole thing. When I cried she said well, that's what happens in divorce. Women get the kids and men pay and gave an evil looking smirk. It's the one thing someone has done to me that I can't forgive. Frick it. Kill her parents and give her the smirk. He hid the fact that he was facing debauchery charges from me for months. I was 13. She was 19. She poked holes in my condoms. Need I say any more? And before anyone asks, yes, this situation has been dealt with legally. Affairs. Yup, that. And the jabs that I was paranoid each time I suspected. Such a sadistic mind game. Just freaking leave already. She was rude to everyone I introduced her to and she told me that I should get a tummy tuck. She was short with me until I told her that I looked into it and was playing around with payment options. Oh yeah, she's pre-med for psychiatry. He knocked me up, isolated me from my friends and family, broke me down and told me I would never be a good mother and talked me into having an abortion. Fast forward a year and a half. I'm still with him, still isolated, all my friends are s, my mom's a s, 
All my guy friends want to frick me, so, a guy I work with texts me for a ride to work because he blew his head gasket. X freaks out, beats my butt then drops me off at work after breaking my phone into pieces. So, I left him that night. Jokes on him though, I'm engaged to the guy from work and 22 weeks pregnant with his baby girl. He can frick himself and die, and I wouldn't shed a fricking tear. He ruined who I was for 2 years. I had to rebuild friendships because of him, and still struggle with depression and anxiety over that abortion. So, he was kind of right about the guy from work. She was a mirror to who I was as a person at the time. X number 1 tried to kill me over a dog and claimed I was bad at math because I couldn't cut hair. X number 2, punched holes in everything, screamed and threw fits like a child, and spent 22 hours a day on WoW. Oh and I once woke up to him stabbing his computer with a butcher knife because he lost a duel or some crap. Bad at math, couldn't cut hair, I'm so confus. A lot of things. But I think the biggest dong move would have been when he brought the chick he was sleeping with to the hospital to visit me and see our son for the first time, while we were still in a relationship. We broke up about a month later. <laughs> Left me two weeks before Christmas for an another, younger, woman. We were together for almost 18 years. I'm so happy now that I found out it didn't work out with her. He didn't want to spend money on you for a gift. It angers me that I put up with it for 7 months but, she cheated when she was completely sober at a party and I crap you not said this in defense he tried to make out with me so I bit his tongue. Always talked about how I would never be as hot as other guys she knew. Said she wished I was better looking. Said the only reason she was with me was because she liked my family. Flirted with other guys lots. Would get mad if I ever even looked at another girl. I got a text from one of my best girlfriends and she wouldn't talk to me for about 3 hours and would never let me live her down saying that I was hiding things. Would always say everything is my fault. Her tea smelled absolutely terrible. I know this shouldn't be one but oh my freaking god it wasn't even that fishy smell it was more like rotten mustard heated to 30 degrees and corpses. I am scarred to this day. And then as soon as I dumped her she said she loved me. Which she said on multiple occasions she didn't. The first few months were great. None of this ever happened. I grew way too attached to her. She destroyed my self esteem. She even pulled crap like saying that some other guy's dong was probs bigger than mine. She put me into depression. She had me thinking everything was my fault. But when she cheated I finally cut loose. She proceeded to, to try and turn my family against me so I told her to never speak to us again. And then she had the audacity to tell me I was rude. Frick girls like that man. <laughs> Committed suicide. That's tough. Really tough. I don't know that feeling but I know what it is like worrying that they might do it. <laughs> he hit me. I'm so glad you're out of a relationship like that. I have one ex that makes me particularly mad when I think back about it. I mean, why I put up with this guy's crap for 3 months back then now astounds me. The one thing that makes me angrier is that, a month or so after we broke up, I found myself sat next to him on a bench. I don't even know why. He bluntly told me that he cheated on me a lot. I had had suspicions but he always told me that he hadn't. Singed my hair with his lighter and then walked off. Freaking butthole. Just for your information, you could have pressed some serious assault charges for what he did to your hair. <laughs> Neglects her child to spend time with me. That's a no in my book. <laughs> if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.